video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here and welcome to another Newcastle United career mode episode. And today, we are going to be playing hopefully our first Premier League game at some point. But before that, we have a community shield to try to win. That is going to be the first game that we play against Chelsea, of course. They won the league and we won the FA Cup, so that's how that's happened. As well as that, we also have a couple of transfers that we are chasing right now. There are two players that have signed for Newcastle in real life, and we're trying to bring them in. They're John Joe Shelby and Henri Savet. But for now, we're going to put that off because we are going to play this game and hopefully win what could be our third trophy, albeit not a necessarily exciting trophy or even a trophy. It's more of a shield, the community shield, but still, it will be another piece of silverware. We've won the FA Cup. That's definitely the most prestigious that we've won so far. We have won a preseason trophy, although that's not really too prestigious, whatever. And then we are po hopefully on the verge of getting this community shield. That'll be absolutely fantastic. Love to do it. Chelsea going to be a tough team, but that's the formation that we're going with. And let's go. Here we are then, back at Wembley again. We've been here twice in our career so far with the Newcastle career mode. We've played uh, Manchester United, I believe, in the semi-finals. I'm not too sure. And then we've also played, of course, Norwich in the final. We've won two out of two times. Can we make it three of three? The team standing in our way is only the team that won the Premier League last season. Despite being horrid this season in real life, they're still going about it perfectly in, of course, FIFA 16. Looks like they're fielding a bit of a weaker team. Nathan sits behind Costa. They still have some okay players. Mikel starts over, say, Matic and a couple of other players, but they do have Jerome Boateng in defense. And Chelsea are the ones going to get it kicked off. Here we go. Starting off with a community shield. Here we go. Oh, Costa goes from distance. Oh. Amazing start. Tim Krull, we, you don't want to do those things in a transfer window. It is the first shot of the game. I haven't even touched the ball. I'm containing. I'm trying to stop him. He shoots from distance. Tim Krull, what the fuck? I feel very hard done by. I don't feel like that's a goal that they should have scored. How do you not save it, Tim Krull? Okay, so immediately on the back foot, I've barely had a touch of the ball. I have not had a touch of the ball up until this point. That's a bit bullshit in my honest opinion. If EA Sports want to do me a little bit of justice, they'll make sure that I score from my first possession. They'll make sure I do. Oh, it might just happen. It might just happen. Charlie Austin gets blocked by Boateng. We were on the verge of getting one back immediately. I went for the far post instead of the near post. And Boateng, fucking unbelievable. That might have been wide anyway. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay! Yes, there it is, Charlie Austin! He's done it, finally scores! Charlie Austin, you beauty. I'm very critical of the passing in this game. You know I am, but so far, every pass we've done has been on the money. Look at that little play. We're just cutting them up right through the middle, and then, thankfully, Boateng lost track of Austin, and it's come in off the post. Brilliant strike. So we get the goal back only a few minutes later. Thank God. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. Oh my fucking goodness me, Tim Crow! Are you having the worst game or, or what? I just don't believe that they're scoring these. He gets the... He takes a touch. He tries to clear it. It goes right to... I can't fucking believe Tim Crow right now. I don't fucking believe this cunt is letting everything in right now. Mikel. See if we can get past Mikel. Cabela. Go on a run. Go on a run. Go on a run. He's not got any options. He's got nothing. He's just going to have to keep on going all the way. All the way. All the way, Cabela. Go all the way. Space is there. He's going to have to power it. And that's way over the bar. So fucking high up. He's kept his feet, he's kept his feet, he's kept his feet, he's done well. But we run out of space. Piazon's just chasing all the way back. They're defending so fucking well. We get one goal and we keep conceding these shit ones. There is no way we should be we should be down at this stage. There's no fucking way. They've attacked well, they've defended even better, but their goals have been bullshit. Look at the fucking stats as well. They've had three shots, two goals, all been on target. We've had seven shots, four on target, the one fucking goal. They've got a little bit more possession, but whatever. This is legendary offline. I think they always seem to have a little bit more possession no matter what. Oh, how has he kept the ball? I'm getting frustrated now. I'm doing dumb shit. How is he? How is he going through? I don't believe it. He lost the header. He kept tackling. Oh, this is just... <laughs> no, it's not my game. It's not my game. I'm so fucking no. Okay, so I tackle him there. He keeps possession. He still goes through. Left him, wins the header there. There was no fucking way that wasn't going to be a goal. I mean, how many times did I tackle him? I missed a, I missed a pretty bad slide tackle beforehand. But fuck's sake, we made the tackle from behind by Vine Adam. He still keeps possession. We're not... Can't blame Tim Krull there. He made the save that time. Credit to him. But that's their fourth shot on target for the whole game. And their third fucking goal, I think. I don't even know. 
Yeah, this is good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I might even go for a long shot. Or I'll do the smart thing. I'll do the smart thing. There it is. Don't go for the long shot. Charlie Austin with a brace now and still with time. Have a look at this. I went around him. I saw I saw one at him in all that space. I could have blazed away, but I did the smart thing. Went to Austin, who just fires it at the near post, and it's 3-2. All right. We might have a chance still. Win this header. Win this header. It's crucial. It's crucial. He's won it. Mbemba, good work. Oh, that wasn't smart, but it still sort of worked out, thankfully. Run. Perez, go. Brilliant slide tackle. This is fucking incredible defending. We don't have anybody up. I've got to hold. I've got to wait. Charlie Austin, make the move. Hold it up. Hold it up. This defending. How does he go to ground so easily? It's a free kick. I thought that was clean. I'm going to get Remy Cabela just because I feel like he might be the right man. He's got the right stats. Four. Penalties. No, it's gone off. I've maybe chosen the wrong person. I think I should have got Suzuko. We're all out of attack for this right now. Go out wider. Suzuko, a little fake shot. Good work, good work. Blaze away, blaze away. Blaze away, it's 3-3. He's done it. We've tied it up. Five minutes to go. This could go. This could still be going to penalties. Now I'm going to go off ultra attacking. Let's go back to balance because five minutes to score. I'll take it if I can, but I feel like this thing's going to penalties. Oh my God, Ramirez. It's a foot race. It's a foot race. Ramirez is quick. He is quick. Oh, that is a horrible clearance. What is that a mistake? Come on, we need to work it well. Work it well. Go past him. Go past. Run, run, run. We have to work this, surely. Cabela. Oh, it's another foot raise. Charlie Austin, he's in. He's in. No. No, I went to the far post. No, 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 no. I didn't hold it down long enough. He picked out the wrong player. We had a player at the far post. We could have won it off a Ramirez mistake. Now they'll get the final attack of the game. And Yuri Tillemans can't keep up with fucking Mikel. Good tackle by Mbemba. Good, good tackle by Mbemba. And that's going to be at penalties. Oh, we could have won the game. I didn't hold it down for long enough. It didn't go to the far post. It went to the guy. Oh, I didn't hold it down enough. Unfucking believable. Either way, there's probably no guarantee I could have scored that given how the game's gone. But it's 3 3 and we're going to penalties. So here we go then, Charlie Austin. He didn't have a great first game for me in the preseason tournament final. But this time around, he's had an absolute blinder. He's already scored a brace. Can he pick himself up? The first. Yes, he can. All right, Enin Hazard, where are you going? Where are you going? Is he chipping it? Right, straight up the middle. Ah, oh, by down him now. By down him. Holding it down. Holding it down. That's a good, it's an okay penalty. It's in. I wonder if I should just keep going the same way. I'm hoping one will chip it. If they chip it, I think I know the animation quite well. He's going right. There it is. It's a save, Tim Krull. He absolutely has some making up to do, Tim Krull. We all know it. Tilly Mans, that's a great pen. One more save. Loic Remy, you might still be a target of ours. You might still come to us. Loic Remy, chip, left, straight, up again, down the right. Remy Cabela, Remy Cabela with maybe the best penalty of the day. And if we stop this, if Ramirez, who nearly cocked it up for them, if we stop this, it's a chip, 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 and it's over the bar. What a way to lose. What a way to lose a cup. Oh my God. What a way to lose a community shield. We are three from three at Wembley. We just do not lose at Wembley Stadium. I don't think I've lost once at Wembley Stadium in every single career mode I've played in FIFA 16 so far. It is basically my home away from home right now. We're lo I'm loving it. We've beaten, we've come back from conceding two pretty bullshit goals. One goal, unfortunately, right toward the end of the second half. I'll justify that. But we've came back and we've won it in penalties. What an absolutely brilliant freaking result. Incredible that we... The two goals that we conceded within the first 15 minutes, I just could not believe my eyes. Tim Krull came up, he came up big, he made one save. To be fair to him, he did make one save in that penalty shootout and then some other good ones in the game. But my goodness me, how didn't he? I just could not believe, I could not believe the goals that he let in. Thankfully, we won the game for his sake. So my need or want to just offload him and get a new keeper is not as high anymore. But if he fucking keeps up that shit, if he keeps doing it, I'm just, he's done. He's, he's out. There is no room in Newcastle for that. But we are going to simulate these drills now. More beat your man drills. We're just going to keep on going on with them. Aaron's going up by uh, ball control and dribbling by at least one and getting about halfway through. No real growth to anybody else. Aaron's, I think, has already gone up to 77 now. He was 76 at the end of the episode. At the end of the last episode, that is, anyway. But here we go. We immediately just... Uh, incredibly, get an offer for Tim Krull, the guy who put in maybe one of the worst goalkeeping performances or made two of the biggest mistakes I've almost ever seen. We get an unacceptable offer for Henri Civet, and it looks like that Wolfsburg are, oh my goodness me, they're actually, we're actually got some competition for him. Well, if they've accepted an offer of 13, but won't accept an offer of 15 for us, I don't understand. So how about we offer 17? 0.5, is it even worth it? You know what? Let's think about this. Is it even worth it? I don't think so. We're not going to take the risk. We're going to go with the 18.5. It's just a couple mil. 
I would not be spending this sort of money to get that sort of player if he had not actually gone over to us in real life. Hell, John Joe Shelby has cost us less. It's going to cost us less to get him. But still, he's accepted. Or should I say, Swansea have accepted. Now we've just got to sort out that contract. It looks like it's going to be a 100 grand a week. That is not bad. Five years. I won't give him a squad role if I don't need to. And submit. Our first Premier League game, by the way, is against Liverpool, it looks like. I wonder if that's going to be a home game or an away game. We will find out. And if we can get John Joe Shelby back before or before uh, we start that game, that'll be fantastic. And obviously, as you can see, uh, Bordeaux have accepted. And we are going to give an, uh, an offer to Henri. I'm going to go with 90 grand, like what he's saying. Five years, no squad role, and submit that one. We also have a uh, player that I'm trying to sell, Alex Gilead. I don't really think he's ever going to get to a rating that he's ever going to be worth me using. So we're going to accept the offer right there and we're just going to basically just going to get him out. And the first Premier League game we're going to play will be against Liverpool. If John Joe Shelby gets back to us before this game, which he has, and we're going to accept and he is going to be fit and ready to go. Hopefully he's going to be on the squad. He's going to be in the team by the time that we get to play this Liverpool match. So this is the team for the first game of the Premier League season. And it is going to be a uh, Pretty same same old, same old team. The same back four, same midfield, and of course the goalkeeper still the same cruel, despite a couple of not-so-great performances, especially in that last game. But anyway, this is going to be the real changing point. We've got Mitrovic and Austin, two bigger guys. Not real pacey guys, but Austin's still got a decent amount on him, but Mitrovic absolutely doesn't. So we don't really have anyone to run the fast break here. So that's really going to... That's how I like to play my game. That's really how I like to play with this team. So it's going to be uh, interesting. We've got two target men really up front. And we're going to be playing Liverpool at home for the first game of the Premier League. Let's see how it goes. And let's go. Ayose Perez did actually pick up a red card right in like the last final couple of minutes of that Community Shield final. Which means that unfortunately he won't be able to start. And he won't even be on the bench for us. So we've got... Uh, Unfortunately, really only got Riviere and Armstrong on the bench for us, so we might bring one of those on at some point, but that's the Liverpool team. But this is it then, first game of the Premier League season in Season 2, we are underway. That come from behind win that's got me feeling all sorts of good, so hopefully we can really uh, just sort of, I don't know, I'm trying to concentrate, sorry guys. So hopefully we can really, ah, uh, come on, hopefully we can fucking, we're not having a good start, I should just shut up. Cabela, we're going to have to go right. They've just got so many plays in the way to make sure that it, it doesn't get to Wijnaldum, but they can't stop it. Away he goes. It's a foot race. Wijnaldum versus Henderson. Who's going to win this? Surely we know. He's holding me. There's a foul in there. I'd almost take it, but I'm not going to because we've got this. Whoa! That is a penalty. That is what I thought. I went to shoot it, and Austin got taken out. Maybe, I don't even know what was going on there. But there's no way that that's not a penalty, and we have already had some practice today, so surely this should go in. Charlie Austin won it. Charlie Austin's one of the higher rated penalty takers. Charlie Austin can take it. Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin can make it. He's went the right way, Mignolet, but he couldn't stop it. And Charlie Austin, he's got three goals in this episode. So it's a good start. We get a penalty early on within 15 minutes and bang in the top left corner. Welcome to Newcastle indeed. The first Premier League scorer of the season. Oh, beautiful from Jan, Matt. Get away. Slight tackle in from behind. This is fucking dirty play. That could even be a red card. It's right in from behind. Moreno, is he? No, it's a yellow. Come please. Oh, this is looking good as well. This is looking very good. He couldn't go the whole way. Can he cut again, Cabela? Nice move. Try the finesse, mate. Oh, it's a good save. Oh, Mignolet. Chase him down. Chase him down. Chase him down. We should be able to fucking get him. Good tackle. All right, come on. We're going to hold. I'll be happy if we hold and get the 1-0 so far going into half time. I will be happy. Don't want, to go, don't want to let him go by, though. At the far post, this isn't good. We don't want Willems, the one heading at that back post, because he is so short compared to all the other defenders that we have. Oh, that's a great ball. No. Penalty. I went in for the bump. I thought I, uh, thought I could get the ball. I wanted, to get the, I wanted to get the front shoulder. I wanted to get the shoulder in front. Instead, he's gone in for a big challenge instead. He's taken out the legs. That's not what I was hoping to do. And Daniel Sarage is probably going to put this in. Why is the screen so fucking bright? Please, Chip. Straight down the... No, he's not. All right. So it's 1-1. One, one. We give up a penalty in the 45th fucking minute. A brilliant through ball. And who else but Daniel Sturridge. And half time. I said I wanted to go in at 1-0. I'd be happy at 1-0. What happens? Almost immediately give up a penalty in Bemba, who had been great all until that point. And we'd been great right up until the point that Charlie Austin scored. After that, it's been fucking really bad. We have not played well. Oh, I've missed the tackle. He's left open a gap. He's gone for the shot that just, just stayed up. I can't get any fucking shots off right now. They block everything and tackle everything. Cabela held up well. Not a lot of options. Now he does. Sleeping in the midfield. Vinaldum out wider. This is Zoko. He's got there. 
He's going to have to power this one to Zoko. It's off the post. But one Adam somehow puts it in. How has he done that? I have no idea, but we'll take it. It's 2-1. Just gets a foot on it. Yes, there it is, Genie. Let's take a look at this again. He's made the run. Just gets the pass off to Zoko. Settle, shoots off the post. And somehow he beats Sarko to it. All right, back in front. Great start so far. Oh, that's a cross by Balotelli as well. And the header is there. We can't keep it out. It's got to go for a corner. Surely you could have grabbed that. Mario Balotelli now starting for Liverpool. My goodness me. And that header, it would have gone in. So it was a good save. But I feel like he could have grabbed that. I don't know if I'm asking too much. Pen him in. Pen him in. Pen him in. Chase him down. Great tackle. There it is, Austin. There it is, Austin. Well done. He had nowhere to go. Unfortunately, now Bynadam's Adam's got nowhere to go. Fuck. Seriously, we got... Oh my god, how do we get them on these on these breaks where it's like three versus two and yet they still are so well set up every time and we're so poorly set up. They keep winning all the battles. Ings, he's going to turn, he's going to shoot. He nearly scored. Unbelievable. This is a game that's so desperately needed to be finished off. We needed to have got that third goal, but we just have not been able to do it. Coutinho, tackle. There it is. Come on. I'm almost about holding the... I'm almost about just holding it up right now. Get it up. Get it up as far as you can. Take it to the corner. I do not, I do not care. Slide tackle. That is so good. It's so fucking good. I, I think there's almost too much. There's too little time. Sorry. Yeah, look at that. We're putting them under the pressure in their own third when they have to get it up. This is brilliant. Good work, Mitrovic. We're just going to hold this up at this end. I don't even care if we don't score. Aaron's, Tealy Mans. You could even go for a shot, but unfortunately, Coutinho's just too quick. We're just holding it up. That's fine. I don't care. And that is the game. We hold on just. We could not get that third goal. It was insane. Liverpool defended so fucking well and attacked so fucking well. They were a whole new team in that second half after we took the lead again. It was insane how they didn't get a goal back. And it was insane how they defended. I swear. It was a miracle. I, I, against any other team, I probably could have put two or three passes. Not even kidding. They were so, so good. But Austin scores from a penalty. And of course, by now, sticks one home, beating Sarko to it. And we win another game. And have a look at those match facts. Seven shots each, five on target. We just had 2% possession difference go in our favor. And look at those tackles. That shows you how well, they, how well they defended and how many intercepts they would have done. Absolutely crazy. We also come out of that game knowing that Henri has accepted his contract. So that is the second player we can add to the team. And I think for the rest of this episode, we are just going to get the training out of the way, do more and more. Armstrong could go up, maybe, if he gets a really good result. You never know. And he's gotten an okay result, but it's still not enough. Perez by a little bit. Austin to get in close as well. For now, all I'm going to do is advance to the next game, the next Premier League game. I think it's meant to be against a pretty good opponent. Oh, it's only Swansea. That's all right. Basically, guys, I'm going to sim this game against Swansea City, and then I'm going to discuss... Something that I asked you guys in the previous episode, which obviously regarded a financial takeover. I asked you uh, if you wanted me to do it just this once, because I had not done it at the time. I thought I had not done it in a very, I don't think I'd done it at all in a FIFA career mode. Turns out I did do it once back in FIFA 13 though. So that is a few, few years ago. We're starting to get some pretty big offers for some pretty good players. But again, I'm just rejecting these because no, by now it is not being sold. Before I send this game, I will actually really, really quickly show you what the result of the Twitter poll that I actually put out there uh, was. It was so, so close. But as you can see, it was in favor of doing the financial takeover. And on top of that, it was very split in the comments of that video as well. I asked you, should I do it? The people that wanted the financial takeover were vocal. They did say, yeah, do a financial takeover. But that was normally about it. But the people that didn't want me to do a financial takeover were very vocal. They went into very, very, very specific detail about why they did not want me to do a financial takeover. And I know it's a big decision because some see it as a really good thing that you can do in career mode, a really cool thing that you can do, and some don't really like it as much. For this reason, despite the fact that really, in terms of numbers, the financial takeover doing it actually won over not doing it. Let me just skip this really quickly. 1-1 one, one draw, that's okay. Tilly Mans, unfortunately, has picked up an injury. If it's long enough, maybe that means Shelby's probably going to get a start. Yeah, it's going to be about six weeks. All right, then. So he's out of the team then. We're going to start Shelby from now on. So yeah, for the reason that it was that close and it is such a big decision to do in a career mode, I actually think, as we can see, Armstrong's gone up by one, which is great. I think I'm actually going to... I'm not necessarily going to put it off completely, but I don't think I'm going to do the financial takeover. At least, not now. Not in this transfer window. I might revisit it in January because while I know that there's definitely a lot of people out there that want me to do it and a lot of people out there that don't want me to do it, it's a hard decision. And I'm not going to make that decision off 4%, 6% difference. I, d I don't really think that that's 
probably a really sound idea. We are going to revisit this in the January transfer window. We're going to come back halfway through the season and ask this question again, and we want to hopefully get at least a sound yes or no, at least 15% difference. It also looks like that we have not gotten any transfer offers since then, and with two games played, we're currently sitting fifth at the moment. Only two teams in the Premier League seem to have won both of their games so far. They are Arsenal and Stoke, and we are currently sitting in fifth. Cardiff City. By the way, I don't think I even went through the teams that got promoted. Cardiff City got promoted. As you can see, Middlesbrough got promoted and Derby County got promoted. So Everton's going to be the first game we play in the next episode, guys. We're going to hopefully finish up this transfer window in that episode as well, which means that we'll be able to get back to three games an episode. And until then, my name's Master Bucks. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.